I would probably be so vain and off the chain. That's ghetto. My husband and I to sit outside smoking cigars and having a glass of wine. Or you can hear the salon. Ooh. Do you want to have kids? I never thought I would be where I am right now. You end up where you're supposed to be by the course that God has created for you. Are you dating? I'm really, really happy in my life, though it doesn't look like what society's norm of success is. Why do you play it so safe? Girl, we know you got money. Stop being cheap. <laughs> channel in today's video we are in insert b bro sunny miami welcome to miami in venito ami ami <laughs> dancing in the sun and the heat is on and the welcome to my child anyway we're in miami welcome i got you guys here with me of course Always gotta have the energy on deck since I don't have my Nespresso. But in today's fun video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. We are going to Mastro's tonight, my favorite steakhouse in the world. Excuse the Lamborghinis outside. Um, yeah, that's just the thing here. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we're gonna be doing Get Ready With Me plus a Q&A, answering you guys' burning questions. First, I have to say thank you guys for just submitting questions. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I had a bit of a family emergency like probably more than two weeks ago at this point. And I've been in Miami for a week. It has been rather bleak circumstances. It hasn't been for the best reason. And I'll talk about all that in the vlog because I am vlogging, of course. Y'all see my little tan? I got a little tanny tan tan. In the meantime, I wanted to do something to make me happy and I love chatting with you guys and filming. And so we are doing a Q&A. I asked you guys on Instagram to leave your burning questions. So let's get into them. But first, let me do my eyebrows because y'all already know, I don't care where I am in the world. I can't do my eyebrows and talk. So one moment. Okay, I got the eyebrows on. So, I don't really have a proper vanity here. So, let me try to, okay, period, that works. We rigged it. Okay, let's get into these questions. Because I want this video to be focused on the Q&A, of course I will put all the products I'm using down below. You guys asked some great questions and like I said, I'm so, so thankful because this, hasn't been the best week and I wanted something to lift my spirits. So the first question, what is your dream travel destination? Look at y'all. Now the thing is, I am not a, I don't really like to travel per se. Like, I mean, ironically, I say this as I'm traveling, but obviously I didn't come here for the best reasons. I'm a super homebody, but there are a few places I would love to visit. Japan, of course, just because I have family there that I've never met, and I know that I have cousins my age. I would love to go to the French Riviera on my honeymoon, hopefully one day. I'd love to go to Greece, Thailand. Yeah, like, I love tropical vacations and traveling, so those are probably like my top places I'd wanna go. But as long as I'm on some water, your girl is good. <laughs> This. You know who you are who sent this question. <laughs> You're so kind. How can you be so pretty, kind, moisturized, uplifting, and smart? Period. <laughs> First of all, Olivia, I love you. I feel like 
we're friends obviously but you're so kind and literally look i'm not perfect i just try to be a better version of myself each and every day but you can probably thank my parents for that because yeah this is how they raised me <laughs> but thank you for the kind compliment someone said oh no are you okay i've been out of the loop working too much and yes i am doing okay i just had to come here i had to literally rush and get here for a family emergency so everything has resolved itself now thank goodness it did not turn into a funeral situation because it could have um but i am doing much better all is well i'm blessed i really am let me do this because apparently i can't talk and do anything concerning my mouth <laughs> next question what's a super hype bag everyone has that you will never buy <laughs> Ooh, a super hype bag Mmm. Well, the first thing that's coming to my mind is the like, what's a super high bag that I don't like? There's a lot of bags. The Dior book tote, although I went with Kendra and saw it in store. And I don't know, I might have to eat my words on that. I kind of like that one. But there are some bags, all the Prada nylon bags, um, a lot of the Jacques Mousse bags, I could care less. <laughs> The Chanel Maxi, I could care less. The Chanel Jumbo, I could care less. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the popular, y'all okay down there? Most of the popular bags, I don't really care for, but also I probably don't even know about them. I like classic bags though, y'all know that. <laughs> okay, next question. Since you would recommend for those in corporate, I want boss vibes without doing too much. I would say Diptyque Dosan. I would say if you work in corporate and you wanna smell beautiful and pretty without doing too much, go for white florals, go for tuberose, gardenia, jasmine. I would wear Good Girl Gone Bad, spray it sparingly, Giorgio Armani C. I would wear Parfum de Marley Meliora. I would wear Victor and Roth flower bomb. Like florals for work. Like I don't work in corporate anymore. Hallelujah. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just talking about for me. <laughs> but white florals is what I would choose. And I would say just don't spray them too, too much. But I love a good white floral. I know a lot of people are like, ew, white florals, but I like them. Now let me remember to, do I have lash glue? Uh-oh. I wanted to put on lashes. Uh-oh, hold on. I have some lash glue. Of course, when I need it, I can't find it. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Well, we've been going shopping. <laughs> I've been buying for, and we're not gonna talk about it. I'm still on my ban. It's called retail therapy, y'all leave me alone. <laughs> okay, back to the makeup. <laughs> I wanted to prep my lashes, but I'm just gonna put another layer of foundation on y'all. This NARS Soft Matte Complete is my favorite for super hot weather, and it has been like 100 degrees in Miami. No, we are not okay. So I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I really don't like wearing a lot of makeup anyway. I'm somebody that even though I have imperfect skin, you're gonna get this imperfect skin because who's wearing makeup every day of their life just to make other people comfortable? No, thank goodness I'm comfortable in my imperfections because it's too hot. Wow, I can't believe I lost. Maybe it's in my beach tote. Okay, next question. Are you going to try braids like Kendra? I heard you in the vlog laugh out loud. No, darling. First of all, I will never ever get micros because who's not sitting in a chair that long is me. I also feel like braids are so heavy. I, no. <laughs> I can't imagine having really long braids when it's really hot outside. So the last time I got braids was when I went to Punta Cana in 2019. I'll leave that vlog down below. Also, I've heard that the girls are charging upwards of like $1,500 for braids. Y'all know I would learn how to do something in a heartbeat. No braids for me. Plus, I don't really go anywhere anyway. I don't really need braids. 
that's not straight <laughs> okay while well, this marinates my next question i love your skin i understand discoloration your skin looks plump and youthful main products oh thank you so much like honestly i appreciate that because like you guys just heard me say i love my skin do i wish i could have clear skin absolutely i think what some people online who like to like throw little mean comments at me in hopes of hurting my feelings what they don't understand is that i cannot help my skin i drink my my water. Yes, I'm also drinking an energy drink, but I'm on vacation and your girl's trying to have fun, okay? All I drink is energy drinks or coffee, water, and if I'm out, a libation. My acne is hormonal. It is also genetic. I've had acne since I was like eight. I've learned to live with it. I've learned to love my acne and my imperfections. I'm actually glad that God didn't make me perfect because I would probably be so vain and off the chain. I'm glad that my body is imperfect. My face, it's all helped me come into who I am and made me a more secure person. And then I get to help other people feel like their imperfections are perfectly normal as well. I know it's not normal to have acne into your mid thirties and even older, but it is what it is. I don't let the societal norms make me feel badly about the way I look. And one thing's for sure, my looks are not all I bring to the table. Amen? Amen. So thank you for your kind comments. The main products I use, I will pop on the screen and link them down below. I would recommend something for brightening, a really good exfoliant sunscreen, a gentle cleanser, probably an acne product if you are experiencing breakouts. But the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads that you guys saw me use in the beginning of this video they have helped my discoloration tremendously but also sunscreen like I said I've had acne since I was eight I've been going to the dermatologist since I was like probably 12 I've been on birth control Accutane everything under the sun for decades everyone always told me to use sunscreen on my dermatologist and I never did because I never liked the way <laughs> sunscreen felt. So I really think sunscreen is important, but you do have to find a formula that works for you that you're going to want to be consistent with. I find that to be key. But check out all my product recommendations in the description box. And truly, truly thank you for your kind comment because not that I go online fishing for compliments because like I said, I'm very secure in who I am and what I look like. But in a world full of vanity and perfectionism, it's nice that people appreciate when you can just be real with yourself yes I'm imperfect no I'm not gonna look like every other person but this is my journey and I I really do enjoy it like yes I wish I could have clear skin but you know what God is saving that for my 50s apparently <laughs> So like you guys probably heard me say, this is the second hotel that I've stayed at since we've been in Miami because like I said, we will be here for two weeks total. And so when I there go the Lamborghinis. Okay, y'all. <laughs> when I first got here, I realized I forgot my setting powder brush. So I went to Walgreens and got this e.l.f. Kabuki. It works so well. So I'm just using this with the one size setting powder. And I really, really like it. How many years? Oh, Lord, can I read? <laughs> How many hours do you spend weekly on your influencer business? I would say, okay, so this is how I work. I batch because being an influencer, social media, what have you, is not all I do. And not to say that it's not the most important, I mean, it's not, but it is important to me, but because I do other things, I have to batch record. So one week I will film like five to eight videos and then I'll spend the next few days editing. So that week I might spend more time on my influencer business and then maybe the next week I don't have to film anything. All I have to do is make my videos live, which is done automatically and respond to comments. So I would say I probably spend, if it's an active week of working, I could spend anywhere from four to five hours editing a video. So on a week where I'm like actively working, probably like 20 hours because I also do pictures for Instagram. I have to converse with brands, converse with my manager, write captions, do research, thumbnails, description boxes, everything. And then there's all the analytics that go on in the background. So I would say I, I when people ask me, do I do this full time? I say no, because to me, I don't put in full time hours. Like I'll work one week and then take a week off and tend to other things. Probably like 20 hours a week when I'm actively working on my business. But I love it. Like I will spend four hours editing because I love it. I've been editing on my vacation 
because I love it. By the way, this week is the vacation. Last week was the emergency. I truly love what I do. And so I don't mind spending this many hours, but I know if you work a typical nine to five, it's hard because to really be dedicated, to be consistent and to constantly improve your craft, you have to dedicate so much time and I know it's not easy. Okay, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Ooh, honestly, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. I love it here. That's where we're staying this week. Half of my family lives in Miami, so I'd be close to them. I also love being by the water. It's everywhere. The beach is right across the street. I do like living in Atlanta. It's ghetto. Atlanta has changed a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So I don't love living in Atlanta, but I don't hate it. And I stay out the way and I stay at home. So the ridiculousness of the city doesn't really bother me too much. But if I could live here and be a millionaire, I'd be so happy. Because I want one of these houses right here in the inlet canal with a yacht. <laughs> And I want my husband and I to sit outside smoking cigars and having a glass of wine after we finish our meal that I made for him. Like that is the life that I would love. That would just be so amazing. So if I could live anywhere, it would be here. I don't necessarily like Florida for their politics and things of that nature, <laughs> but this area I love. Aw, one of my friends said, no questions, just want to say I love you friend. And I love you too, thank you so much. Someone said dark liquor or light liquor, vodka. Dark liquor, that's for the G's that move in silence like lasagna and I know my place in society and my life and no thank you. If I have to drink liquor, it's gonna be vodka because I, I like vodka. So I'm a light liquor all the way type of gal. Come on blush. <laughs> y'all, I'm so crazy. I know y'all are probably like, what is wrong with this girl? And I don't know. <laughs> Okay, next question. Do you want to have kids? Let's drink some water on that one. So people often ask me this because I'm getting up there in age and my answer is always the same. I don't feel the desire to necessarily have natural kids of my own. I also feel like for me, because I have gotten to this age without having them, the thought of a child just seems like it would be an interference in my life. I'm not speaking for anyone else. So if my husband really wanted a child, prayerfully he will already have grown children. I would have a child for him because I'm not opposed to being a mother. I'm very nurturing, but I'm also very nurturing in other ways. So me, myself and I, I don't, I'm not opposed to having kids, but I'm not necessarily like, ooh, I want to have kids. I'm kind of indifferent. I would only have a child if my husband really wanted one, then of course. But me, myself, and I, I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I'm sorry. And it's not that I don't like kids, but the older you get without kids, it's just like, why would I want to wake up at 5 a.m. and make breakfast? and pack lunches and I, I oh it just gives me a headache <laughs> um ultimate pet peeve oh right now it would have to be hearing people chew or like suck things out of their teeth and i'm not talking about like asmr because i actually do like watching asmr where people are eating i mean like when you're sitting next to someone and you can hear like or you can hear the saliva <laughs> It just, it literally, <laughs> it makes me cringe. So that's probably my ultimate pet peeve. I don't think anything else really bothers me as much as hearing, ugh, hearing saliva move around. And I, that just really bothers me. That's probably my ultimate pet peeve right now. Uh, someone said, I just wanna say, hang in there, we love you. Thank y'all so much for your kind comments. I took like a week off from social media, like posting and being present on Instagram. And y'all know that I'm very, very active on Instagram just because I love conversing with you all. But I really needed to focus on family and what I had to do. And it was just a lot going on. I know you guys understood. So I really appreciate you guys for your care and consideration, support. Some of you even sent me prayers, which made me so emotional. I am just so, so appreciative for you guys. Thank you, thank you so much.
Next question. What's your favorite movie of all time? Mean Girls. Y'all, Mean Girls is my favorite movie. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. <laughs> That's my favorite movie. That will always be my favorite for sure. It's just such a fun movie. I love it. Someone said, hi, I'm sorry, did I miss something? I hope you are okay. Thank you so much. I am doing a lot better and you really didn't miss anything. I think I just written on Instagram that I would be taking some time away to deal with family matters. Favorite TV shows at the moment. Fun fact about me, my family hates this. I don't watch TV. Yeah, I I just don't. I don't know why, but I don't. Let me take off my lip balm. I don't know, YouTube for me is like my TV, so I watch YouTube. So I'll list some of my favorites down below. Now, the one show that I love watching on TV is Dateline. And it's so funny because my dad was always trying to get me to watch it with him, but I was like, it's scary. I don't like suspense. Yeah, but then I watched it and I fell in love. So that's probably the only show on proper TV that I watch and I love it. We love a little pinky nude lip. I really wanna find my lashes. Okay, next question. Five fragrances on your wish list. I know you have one. Well, so this trip, um, I went to Aventura Mall. That's like the best mall. I will say that the shopping in Miami is top tier. Atlanta shopping, it's good if you live in the South and you're not in a big city, but it's nothing in comparison to Miami. There's so many more malls, there's so many more stores, there's so many outlets. So Aventura was amazing. And of course I'd been there as a child, but not since I've had, a little coinage. So that was fun. I've been having a lot of fun going to the fragrance department, which is amazing. So I really want La Perla possibilities. What else? I do have a wish list, but I don't want to give away the scents that I'll be buying for fall, but I really do want Anishio Rehab, the Armani Privé Blue Turquoise, because I'm going on a tropical, a real tropical vacay, like far away this year. I want a chocolate scented fragrance. I want, I still want Parfum de Marley Saffinade. And I know that you put me on to the other fragrance, Au Pays de Auranger. <laughs> What's it called? That one, Neroli Blanc Intense. But I still miss the spiciness of Saffinade. So even though I have that one, Saffinade is on my wish list. And y'all, I'll link these earrings down below. And then another fragrance. Oh, I really want the House of Oud Keep Glazed. That is supposed to be a really pretty like mango lactonic scent. I really want that, but I'm not gonna buy any more summer scents until I go on my tropical vacation because it's August. But those are five fragrances on my wish list. And I know that was Perfumes by Kay because every time she shares a fragrance, I'm like, I need it. <laughs> Someone asked, what are your favorite healthy yet tasty snacks? So fun fact, I don't eat snacks. And I know you're probably wondering. What are you big? I know, and. I don't eat snacks because snacks turn into meals for me. So I don't eat snacks. I eat lunch, breakfast sometimes, and dinner. I'm not a snacker. So like even here, we have a kitchen and there are no snacks for me because I don't snack. But if I were going to snack, it would be like on granola bars, yogurt, stuff like that. That's filling. But snacks for me, that's a tight rope to walk. I don't have enough self-control and I'm okay admitting that. <laughs> Um, looking back on your YouTube journey, is this where you saw yourself? No. Now, I started my channel almost 10 years ago. I'll put on my lotion. I gotta decide if I'm gonna look for my um lash glue. I thought that I would have a larger channel by now for sure. And it's odd because it's not like I started my YouTube channel with the goal in mind of being popular in a big channel. But when you're 
putting your all into something consistently for almost a decade, you just think that you will be at that pinnacle of success for you. So this isn't where I thought I would be. But if you've been following my journey for the past year, I'm so glad that I am where I am because this is where I should be for my life right now. Maybe one day I'll share kind of what's been happening in my life these past like five or so years, but everything that has happened to me up until now has prepared me for where I am right now and what I'm supposed to be doing. So thank God I'm not that it girl that is on billboards and on every campaign for makeup and stuff and traveling with brands. Thank God that's not my life because I don't have the capacity for that right now. So it's not where I saw myself, but I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. And I love it. I love being an influencer. I love sharing. This is me, y'all. My personality comes alive. I feel like I can be myself with you all. My family doesn't even get this fun side of me because I am generally more quiet and shy, but I get to talking about things I like. Girl, the personality is coming out. <laughs> Someone asked, are you dating? Now, babe, in like five videos a month, I look up at the ceiling, AKA talking to God, and I'm like, God, send my husband husband. So no, I'm not dating right now just because it's not important to me. Am I close to dating? No. Am I open to it? Yes. Am I actively seeking it? No. <laughs> Do you get that? I am a firm believer of timing in life and yeah, God will send my husband when that part of my life should be completed. But right now it's not the time, it's not what I'm focused on. Uh, yeah, so no, I'm not dating, I'm not focusing on that, but I'm not closed off to it. I am welcoming of everything that the Lord has for me in his perfect timing. I could say this, be engaged in a month. Like, who knows, not me. <laughs> Um, do you want to have kids? I answered that. Do you feel like you're missing out since you're not married having kids? No. And I kind of just spoke about that. I I couldn't imagine my life right now being married with kids just because of everything that I have to do and all the places from which I pour. That's not conducive to a husband and kids right now. Like up until college, everything that I set out for myself because I'm a very big planner, I accomplished. I wanted to do summer programs. I wanted to apply for college. I only applied to one college. I got in. Everything was great. After college, I quickly learned that, girl, you are not in control of your life. It is God. And even though times may seem like I'm in my waiting period, things aren't happening, God knows what he's doing. When I look back at the past 10 years of my life, I never thought I would be where I am right now. I thought I'd be married with kids on a yacht, living life, you know. I planned a different life for myself, but God knew where I had to be for other reasons. And it all ended up how it was supposed to. If I had been that corporate boss babe that I thought I wanted to be, and I'll talk about that one day, Day, I wouldn't be here on YouTube. If you guys remembered, when I was laid off from my job like years and years ago, that's when I really started to pour myself into this business. If I'd never been laid off, if I wanted to go back for my doctorate, if I wanted to climb the corporate ladder, I wouldn't have time for this and all the other things outside of social media that pertain to it that I'm working towards. So I don't feel like I'm off track. I don't feel like I'm delayed or late. I think a lot of millennials, especially who are high achievers like myself or who have families that are high achievers and have high expectations for them, I think a a lot of people can feel like they're not good enough, like they're not doing enough. I don't have the man or the wife or the kids or the white picket fence. You will get all that in due time. Yeah. So I don't feel behind. I don't feel delayed. I look at other friends in my life. Everybody has a different journey and you end up where you're supposed to be by the course that God has created for you. And I know somebody needed to hear that because there were times in my early 20s where I was like, man, I haven't met this milestone. But now I'm just like, Jesus, take the wheel. Like, total surrender. I, none of this, I, I can only do what I can do. And I can't plan my life to that degree. I'm, I'm really, really happy in my life, though it doesn't look like what society's norm of success is or where a 30 something year old should be in their life. This is where I'm supposed to be. So I'm perfectly content. Uh, some, <laughs> this is the last question. Why do you play it so safe? Girl, we know you got money. Stop being cheap. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, let me look for my lash glue on that note. I'll be back. <laughs>
Okay, I guess I'm not putting on lashes. Okay, so let me answer this question. I've actually gotten this question a few times before and I've never wanted to answer it because how do you remain your humble, genuine self answering a question like this? And obviously I don't know the person's intent behind asking such. Um, this is who I am. I could be staying at the Fountain Blue. I could be staying at the Ritz Carlton, literally in the same block. I have stayed at the Ritz Carlton. I was raised with the belief that just because you have something or just because you have access to it doesn't mean you need it. I could have a Birkin every month if I really wanted to. Um, I don't play it safe. This is just who I am. Yeah, I don't really know what else you want me to say about that. Not everybody spends their money the same way. I wouldn't call myself cheap. I definitely splurge on things that I deem necessary. And yeah, I think people shouldn't have those expectations of others. And if you ask that question, you, you truly don't know me, know me because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. that. That's a weird question, but there you go. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair, be right to balk. I look so tanned and summery. Okay, last step. Baby, the one size setting spray is so bomb. It's like hairspray though, so be aware. Hold your nose. And I'm gonna put a little more mascara on because I'm so sad that I cannot find my lash glue. And I know as soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna find it. And I'm gonna be so sad. More, more, and more. So here's my outfit. I'm wearing a black slip dress. This is from Target like three years ago. And the piece de resistance. My kimono. So this is from my girl Lexi Beauty Fash, y'all. I mean, I gotta move the camera so y'all can get this fabulosity. Do you see? The outfits. I love this so much. Huh. Baby, baby, baby. Y'all. I love this kimono so much. And when I purchased it, I was like, yeah, she's going to Miami. We are going to Mastro's tonight. And I wanted something like classically chic, but also with a little fun. And we're on the beach, so it's perfect. Sense of the day is Electimus Trajan, which is like a Baccarat Rouge citrusy scent. It's perfect for a night out on the beach. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Once again, thank you for all your kind, sweet, heartfelt comments and blessings and prayers and everything. Thank you also for submitting your questions because I had so much fun just doing something that I enjoy, sitting down and talking with my girls. I love you guys so much for watching. I'll insert some clips at the end. We are going to Mastro's tonight, my favorite steakhouse in the world. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.